Hello guys, um, it's LF147 here. Now this is going to be a sort of quick video. Um, it's a sort of follow-up video to one I did um, on the 30th of December 2016 um, called Autism My Perspective, I think that's what it's called. Um, it's just sort of giving my new friends at college a little bit of um, a sort of inside um, sort of take on how my autism affects me and like how it um, affects me on a day-to-day basis so here we go so a bit of context and a bit of a backstory first um, I was diagnosed with autism a few days I think after my fifth birthday in 2005 um, I needed um, SEM workers, which are special educational needs workers, at primary school and secondary school. But they were called teaching assistants um, for my last year, which was year 11. Um, they got me through school, and I think it was a credit to one of them in my primary school that I got the um, mark I did on my 11 plus, which was I think about 137 or something like that. I failed to remember exactly what it was, but I'm sure I'll find some proof um, or whatever. Um, anyway, autism affects me on a day-to-day -day basis in the fact that it makes me th see the world differently to others. Um, it makes me sort of, in inverted commas, weird. And it gives me um, my uniqueness, sort of um, makes me stand out from the crowd. If, if you see what I mean, um, it all it doesn't hinder me on a day to day basis. I can get by with doing stuff fine, but like um, I do get really really anxious in new situations, like everybody does. But I feel as though with me, I get more anxious than the common person. Um, sort of if I'm sort of being taught a new route to go somewhere then I need to know everything um, beforehand so that I can plan and sort of um, accommodate for time and like allow for time, say, 10 minutes out of the way. Um, what else I need to do is I sort of need time um, to be explained things in lessons. Um, so if somebody's given me a task and I don't fully understand it, um, I will, of course, always ask, could you please understand that, or could you make this clearer, for example? Um, autism hasn't affected me as such for the best part of two or three years, I think it's going back to 2015. Um, although it does still affect me. Don't get me wrong, like, autism will be forever embedded in my um, brain. And like, I can't change that, and I wouldn't change it for the world. And I really appreciate my mum for like sort of raising me for the best part of 13 years with Asperger's syndrome, which is um, a, a mild form of autism, but it's high functioning. So that means um, I fantasise about things, so like Doctor Who or um, snooker. I love playing snooker. It's, I've been playing it for like 12 or 13 years, ever since I was diagnosed with autism, really. Um, it makes me sort of, uh, because like back in 2004, before I was diagnosed, I used to be fantasised with clocks and trains and um, and sort of bus timetables. They were the sort of things that I was sort of fantasising about. But otherwise it's changed since then and I don't fantasise much about stuff, but I still do, if you understand and understand me. Comprendez-vous, mon ami? Um, so, yeah, I hope this sort of gives you a brief insight as to um, my sort of um, eyes on um, autism and like my um, sort of struggles, if you'd like to call them that. But yeah, I really appreciate you watching this video as it would give you sort of like context for everything and why I'm weird. Thank you very much for watching. I love you all and peace.